Okay, let's, let's look at how to add and remove elements from an array. Um, we already actually saw how to add something to the end of the array using dot .push. Right? We had the empty array, and we can go dot .push to push them to the end. So let's, let's just review that one down here. I'm going to get rid of this modify stuff. We'll leave the redrawing because we're going to need that. Right After we modify the array, we need to redraw it in order to see our changes. So let's, um, let's push value to the end of the array. And maybe what I'll do actually is just go my data dot push a new random value between zero and 600. So basically exactly the same thing right here, right? Say, okay, you know what? I created an initial 50 values, but I want to add some more. Whenever I press a key, I want to add a new random value. So let's see what that looks like. Make sure I hit refresh and I press a key and it adds a random value. Ta-da! There we go. And if I look at my data now, you'll see that it had, what was it, 121 elements, right? Because I've added a bunch more random data to it. Okay. Um, let's comment that out for a second. Um, actually, maybe this is where I should do the, the key code stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do a if event.keycode is equal to um, 38. That is the up arrow. And the up arrow will do this. Okay, hold on. What am I doing? Let's do this. Up arrow type. There we go. Push value to the end of the array. So that's what's going to happen when I press the up arrow. And we need that code. Great. Else if event.key code is equal to 40, I believe it is. And if and remember, if you want to double check the key code, just console.log event.key code. Um, but I'm pretty confident here. Um, now, what I want to do here is the down arrow. I want to remove value from the end of the array. And we have a method for that as well called pop. Okay, so my data dot pop. So you push something to the end and then you pop it off. Save that, hit refresh. So up arrow key, adds, down arrow key, removes, add, remove, add, remove, push, pop. Okay, brilliant. Um, one thing too with this uh, pop, it actually re removes the value and returns it. So we could do, you know, let popped value be assigned, right? And my data dot pop will return whatever the pop value was. And then I'll just for now just log to the console. Um, you might need, like, if you pop that out, you might need it to access or do something with it. Who knows? So now when I go. I'm down, this will probably be, actually let's just look my data. The last element has the value of 205. So when I press the down arrow key, it popped that 205 and printed it. Next, the second last one now, there should be a 64 and then a 16. So 64, 16, right? So it just removes the last value and I can save it and do something with it. Okay, cool. Um, now, in addition to push and pop, um, actually, you know, now I am going to comment these. Actually, I'm going to copy first and paste it. And then I'm going to comment it out. Actually, I'll comment the second one out. Control slash to comment them all at once. Okay. Um, so this, the push and pop, was great for the end of the array. But what if I want to do the beginning or somewhere in the middle? And what we're going to do for that is a method, my data dot splice. Okay, my data dot splice. And this one's interesting. It takes in a lot of arguments. Well, not a lot. Um, blank, 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 and then possibly some more. And actually, it's going to tell me about stuff here anyway. 
right? If I go in here and start typing, it should tell me. Um, the first thing is usually the, um, the position or the index. And then the next thing, yeah, so the start. So basically the, the position, right? Where am I going to start stuff? And splice is interesting because you can use splice to remove and you can use it to add. So this is the, the position. The next element is the delete count. How many things do I want to remove? Well, in this case, I don't want to remove anything. So I'm going to put a zero. And then we can do as many items as we would like, separated by commas. So we could add multiple things. In this case, I just want to add one value. Maybe I'm just going to add a 600 so we can really see it. It should be a full, full bar. Okay. So, and then index doesn't exist, right? So that's, a, I have to give it an actual value. So we'll do position zero. So that this is the position. This is how many to remove. And then this is the, the value to add. So add position zero. I want to remove nothing. And I'm going to add a 600. Okay. Let's comment that. We're going to add 600 to the beginning of the array to, to index 0. Okay, save that. Refresh. And that was my up arrow key. And there we go, right? At position 0, I'm not removing anything, and I'm adding a 600. Cool. And of course, instead of 600, we could have done the same math all random times 600. And we get random values at position zero. Okay, and then of course, if you didn't want position zero, you could do position 25. Right? You can always figure out, it's always going to add to position 25. Right? If I wanted to add to the middle, Maybe I could do like a let middle index be assigned my data dot length divided by two. Now we got to be careful here because the length could be an odd number. So this would be a decimal. So I'm going to go math dot floor the result of this calculation. So that'll always round it down. Or there's actually a math dot round, I think, too. But floor, whatever, that should be fine. Round it down. Um, and then instead of 25 here, where the index goes, I'm going to use my variable middle index. And I could technically have just put this calculation right in here, but I think this is a little cleaner. We're going to create this middle index, and we say, hey, at the middle index, remove nothing and add a random value. So now this will recalculate it every time. Sorry, up arrow key. Right, it'll recalculate that middle index because the number of elements changes and it'll always add into the middle. And my down arrow key pops. <laughs> okay, um, so let's look at this now. Down arrow key, let's um, remove. Um, well, hey, why don't we just do remove element from the middle? So I'll do the same code here. Whoops. I'll do the same code, copy and paste. But this time, I don't want to add anything. And instead of zero here, I want to put a one because I want to remove one element. So again, at the middle index, I'm going to remove one element. And because I didn't list anything after this, I don't want to add anything. So let's try that. Okay, so up arrow key adds to the middle index, down arrow key removes from the middle index. Cool. Remove, 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 add, add, add. Okay. Um, and then, of course, this, uh, this removing doesn't have to be the middle index, right? This could be zero. And again, we could do this at zero to do the beginning. But I don't need that middle index variable. Uh, hit refresh, sorry, refresh. Up arrow key does from the beginning, down arrow key removes from the beginning. But yeah, the key to that splice is the, the position, how many to remove, in this case zero, in this case one, and then if we want to add stuff, you can add stuff after the how many to remove parameter. Okay, so that splice is pretty powerful, and then of course also the, the push and the pop um, are useful for doing stuff at the end of the array.
which is pretty common. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it at that. That is being able to add and remove elements using push, pop, and splice. Okay, hope that made sense. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.